Suspending Belief. Albert Einstein famously asked the question, does the moon disappear if you're not looking at it? And then there's the well-known philosophical conundrum, if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? Both of these questions have been definitively answered within the realm of quantum physics. And the answer is a resounding no. Flying in the face of Einstein's objective realism and Newton's, quote, laws, what scientists are coming around to is that what has been counted on to be solid objective reality is in fact anything but. Essentially, the world we live in is not much more than a construct of beliefs. We believe the moon is in the sky because, well, everyone else believes it to be true. The Hubble telescope zooms in on the distant galaxies that we believe are objectively real. Yet the startling truth is that these galaxies are just as ephemeral and illusionary as the sound of that tree falling in the forest. As humans with our highly specific perceptions observe through very specific wavelengths of light, sound, and smell, we comprehend our universe through stacks upon stacks of agreements, judgments, conclusions, and beliefs. This is the furry underbelly truth of the world. Regardless of how real it all seems with all those hard surfaces, very real threats to survival, perishable food and bodies, not to mention the inexorable passage of what we have agreed to as time. As an interesting and vital side note, scientists have also proven that time is an illusion and that from a cosmic perspective, everything is actually happening all at once. Our human brain, with its 11-dimensional wiring, presents perceptions as a linear march of various events. The events are actually simply arbitrary conglomerations of stuff that have been related together to form various types and flavors of reality. So now, have I deconstructed your reality enough? <laughs> I do so to make my point. We are unwitting, unconscious creators of the lives we live all the way from galaxy clusters down to the simplest of bacteria. It's all there because we agreed to create it all with all these other points of view we perceive as, quote, others, end quote. In truth, we are all one creator doing our things from different points of view. The task, or trick, is to regain our denied consciousness to such a degree that the world we experience reflects accurately our desires and visions. As biologist Dr. Bruce Lipton has pointed out, 97 to 99% of what we are creating is unconscious, emanating from the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is what's plugged into and deeply interfaced with the meta program that is running like an immense digital Star Trek holodeck. This subconscious mind is mostly overlooked as a source of the majority of our creation. In fact, despite the immensity of what it creates, this giant subconscious mind is very simply programmed like any garden variety computer with on-off switches. This is way different from the conscious mind, which needs to make associations and create relationships among things in order to learn. The subconscious is programmed by the repetition of yes and no, that's all. We can consciously repeat a desire or preference until it builds up enough of a field in the subconscious and boom, it actualizes that desire or preference. We could create changes in our body, our attitudes, our relationships, just by repeating with feeling the change we want to see created. All of this takes place in the imagination and the fuel that feeds the subconscious is feeling. Consciously create the feelings of what it is you want to experience. Add some patience over time and bang, there you have it. It's all a matter of suspending our beliefs against all this in order to make it real. The cosmic irony is that beliefs created this world we are in 
And suspending those same beliefs is what opens up the infinite possibilities we all have access to to create that life we truly desire. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.